Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Third Beer Channel. I am Solomon, and in today's video, we are in a completely different area on the kayak today, which is wonderful. That's what we want. There we go, we're locked in. We're locked in all the way. We are actually going to do two different things. Well, hopefully. This is my plan for the day. Uh, the, the weather is recalling for winds southwest at 10 to 20 miles an hour today. So, uh, we're going to start out on the river, the Indian River Lagoon. And we're going to go to the Melbourne Causeway, which is a giant bridge that goes over to the Indian River Lagoon. Uh, from the mainland to Beachside, uh, right over 192. US 192 um, into Indian Atlantic, Florida. And it's not an area that I've ever really seen many boats travel to and fish. Uh, I guess there's other places that people would prefer to go. They'd probably rather go down to the inlet and stuff. But there's giant pilings there and there's really big bulkheads there. So we're going to go over there um, and target some sheep's head maybe see if there's any there just don't know um, but there's definitely drum there black drum there's probably some redfish there we're gonna try to hit some of those see what we can do we got to catch some better fish we just have not had very good luck this year uh, so yeah that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go target that and play around on the at the causeway for a little while if conditions get too rough then we're gonna go way off uh, and go up creek to Crane Creek, which is a completely different creek than we've been fishing on, which was Turkey Creek. And we're gonna go try to do some sheep's head fishing um, at one of the local train bridges there and see what we can do there. Um, and there's also a, a bridge that goes over US-1 that we can try there too for some sheep's head. And there are sheep's head there. Um, so we'll see what we can do. And there's there's other fish there too. There's tarpon in that, that creek. I've seen videos of people catching tarpon and sharks and stuff out of that creek too. But not a lot of people fish it because it's, um, it's just, it's kind of a small creek. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure if you haven't already to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you know when I upload a new video. And let's get fishing. Yeah, there's a shock. That's a shock. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, thanks for giving me a bite. We got the skunk out of the way, but it's always got to be a catfish. Fish on, babies! Come on. Fish on with a piece of blue crab. Come on. Oh! 
I think it's a black drum. I saw stripes. It could be a sheep's head, but it would be a big one. Oh my God, it's a freaking giant sail cat. Give me a break. Come on! Give me a daggum break. Come on! Oh! My first giant fish on the kayak, and it happens to be one of these stupid things. Dang it! Why do I have to be the catfish king? I didn't know they'd go for crab. Come on. You're not even going in the boat, buddy. Come here. It's a big one. It's getting ready to move spots and everything. That's a big one, too. That's so disappointing. Jeez, man. Alright, go away. I think we're on. I think we're on. Something's on it. We're on something. This is another sail cat. I'm gonna be so mad. Come on, fish. It's not pulling like a sail cat. Oh, well, maybe it is. This feels like a sail cat. Come on. Yeah, this is definitely feeling like a sail. If this is a sail cat, we're leaving. I'm done here. This probably is a sail cat. Yep, there's another sail cat on a crab. no eye on this side unless the hook is in his eye that's kind of what it looks like come on use your brain I'm trying to get stabbed in rough weather there we go another sail cat get out of here Oh, 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 fish on. Oh, there's a fish. That's a good size. Of <laughs> course. All right, so that's catfish. It's hardhead number two. That's catfish number four. So hopefully that means we're going to start catching something, right? Maybe. Come here, buddy. Stop, stop, stop thrashing for a minute. So since the wind had picked up and it was causing two to three foot waves out on the river, and the fact that we were only catching catfish out there, I decided to make my way up Crane Creek to do some fishing around some of the bridges. Fish on. Whoa! Look at this mangrove snapper. Wow, that is a definite keeper. Holy smokes. That's my personal best snapper I've ever caught. Guys, what a snapper this is. Wow. <laughs> There we go. About got it. All right. 
beautiful mangrove snapper. My goodness. Gorgeous mango. No! There we go. Got ourselves a sheep's head. It's our first one over here. And it's not, a, not as dinky as the ones we were catching over there at the seawall. We finally figured out where some fish are on this train bridge here. I'm hoping to catch another big mango, but that's not looking to be the case at the moment. <laughs> it's okay. But we did catch our first sheep's head. Maybe we can catch a big one because this isn't a very uh, heavily fished spot. So we'll see what happens. But there we go. Nice. There's a, there's a fish. Oh! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> There's a snapper. Y'all can't see it, but that is a monster snapper. And bef <laughs> before we do anything, <laughs> oh my god, that is a brute of a snapper. That is a beast that's bigger than the last one that i dropped holy crap my god hold on yeah that's a keeper <laughs> personal best right here baby Let me get these pliers out so you get this hook out we have found some snapper folks Dang, that's a big one. We we will measure him. Hey, poop on my hand. Let's do this carefully. We do not want to drop this fish. Ouch. We know he's legal. Personal best mango. So we are keeping this boy. And we're gonna try to catch us some more. Ooh, there's a fish. There's a big fish. It's a nice fish. Oh, that's a sheep's head. Oh, that's a good size sheep's head. Oh, it's bigger than any of the ones we've been catching. Anyway, it's our biggest of the day for sure. For sure. There we go. You surprised me a little bit. Uh, I'll measure him. I want to say probably 10. If we're lucky, he's 10. He's not a keeper. Let's see where he's sitting. Yeah. Yeah, right at 10, so. He's right at 10. A little over 10, actually. So that's pretty good. Definitely a bigger one, man. Sweet. It's a mango. Big fish. Yep, another keeper. <laughs> uh, maybe. This might be a keeper. I think it's gonna, it's gonna be close. Nope. Dang. You're probably, you're probably sitting at about nine. Yeah, you're actually, probably, <laughs> you're just under ten, so. Oh, 
9.75. Ouch! You bit me. <laughs> We're not filming that. Oh, you're kidding me. All of that. We didn't even get it filmed. I just got my personal best mangrove snapper, and it was a major mess trying to get him out. He had me wrapped around... Uh, um, uh, structure and everything. Oh my gosh, that was so exciting. And I didn't even have it filmed. Dang it. That's frustrating. Darn. That's a nice fish right there. Alright, well, we gotta make sure we hold on to this guy. Yep, I know, I see you snap. Do not drop this fish. Whatever you do. 11 inches so he's still definitely a keeper so we're gonna keep him but he's a little smaller i think than the, the other one yeah the other one was 11 and a half oh man he sliced me all up so man three keeper size i only was able to keep <laughs> to hold on to two of them though unfortunately all right folks we are back out on the indian river and uh, out of the creek, the wind is, is going pretty good, 10 to 20s, coming down from the south, southwest. So, uh, got some pretty good chop, pretty good waves going on right now. So, uh, I think my fishing time is over, and it's time for me to head back. Uh, I gotta get around this, uh, this little peninsula here. I'm gonna get soaked getting a lot of splash from these these waves Woo, that's a good wave um but i'll make it back no big deal i'm not too worried about it um uh, it's been a great day we caught some fish caught some good fish uh i hit a milestone first time since i started fishing um and started this channel that i was able to bring the whoa i just ran aground right here why did i just run aground right here it was a good time, had a good time. That was a little scary, that scared me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon so you know when I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Thanks for watching the third Beard channel. Here's a video selection and here's a playlist suggestion. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you.